Hello, hello YouTube nation. What's, I got told not to say that again um, by a friend of mine. So I'm going to say it again. So one day, one day is a silly little song. I don't remember all the chord names. I don't really care what the chord names are. Um, we're gonna play an F minor seven. You're gonna bar. I know bar chords are scary, but you're just pressing down str all the strings with one finger. Um, and that's about it. Um, I'm in E flat tuning, by the way, E flat standard, which would be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, B flat, E flat. Um, another first chord's gonna be an F minor seven, just bar the seventh fret, and then put your ring finger on the ninth fret of the fifth string and your pinky finger on the ninth fret of the third string and you're gonna pick the, the fifth string and then the third and fourth string and then you're gonna do a little switch up you're gonna pick the four, fourth and second string and then you're gonna go back to four and three. And that's gonna be your picking pattern most of the time. And we're gonna slide the same handshake all the way down to the second fret. So our ring finger is on fret four. We're gonna do the same picking pattern. And then we're gonna slide, we're gonna slide to a new hand shape. We're gonna put our pointer on the fifth fret of the fifth string. We're gonna put our ring finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. And we're gonna put our middle finger on the sixth fret of the third string. We're gonna start that same picking pattern. We're not moving to the second string this time. We're gonna do the same picking pattern. And then our little alteration is going to be done by our pinky. So our pinky is going to go just up one fret. So our pinky is going to go on the, the, the seventh fret of the third string. That's how that's going to go. And then we're just going to uh, pick up our pointer finger and move it to the... Um, fifth fret of the sixth th string, and we're gonna pick six, five, six, four, three, six, four, three, six, four, three, six, four, six, four, three, six, four, three, six, four. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, from top to bottom. I'll do that a little slower. Uh, remember that picking pattern because it's gonna come back, but yeah, you go. And then he does a little stop, and we're gonna play a... an A flat six. So we're gonna put our ring finger on the 12th fret of the fifth string. We're gonna put our pointer finger on the 11th fret of the fourth string. And we're gonna put our middle finger on the 11th fret of the third string. We're just gonna pick all three of those strings. Let it ring out and we go. Um, and that's kind of the only time the verse changes. Sometimes he goes, and that's just picking these three uh, bottom strings. Um, that's the only time it really changes. And then you play the same thing for the last chorus. The last chorus, you play this. And the only time this pattern really changes is for the first two choruses, um, which go like this. This is where this picking pattern comes in. 
So we're gonna put pointer finger on the second fret of the fifth string. Wilbur uses his ring finger. I like to use my pinky because I have smaller hands, but um, uh, ring finger or pinky on the fourth fret of the fourth string and then middle finger on the second fret of the third string. And you're gonna do that picking pattern. You're gonna pick five, four, three, five, four, three, five, four, three, five, four. Um, and then we're going to go to that third chord from the chorus and we're going to do the same picking pattern. And that's, that's about it. You kind of just, that's the chorus. Maybe one day, oh baby, isn't life so fucking inconsistent? Uh, that's about it. That's like the whole song. Uh, I hope you learned how to play it. Um, that's, that's about it. Bye-bye.